So now it's up to us to take a situation and to provide a graph that describes it. First of all, we need to look at what type of graph it is. It's a graph of speed as a function of time. So what that means is that speed will go on the y-axis. Now whenever we put something on an axis, we also need to include the unit that it has. So all the speeds are kilometers per hour. Time will go on the x-axis. Times are all given not in hours, sorry, but in minutes. We also need to look at the overall picture for the graph before we start it. We don't want to pick a scale that's too small or too large. We don't want to be able to we don't want to be able to fit all the graph in a small section or have to extend the graph past what's there. So if we look, we have a 30 minute section at 20 kilometers per hour. We have a 5 kilometer an hour for 10 minute section. And last, we have another 10 minute section where we were stopped. So total time, we have 50 minutes. Let's deal with that right now. If we take a look and we count squares on the x-axis on time, we actually have 10 squares in this section over here. 10 squares to get 50 minutes. If each one is worth 5, we'll be good to go. We don't need to label every single one. As long as the scale is easy enough to follow, we can go every second one. Speed on the y-axis, the highest speed we ever got to is 20 kilometers an hour. So again, we have 10 squares on the y-axis. If each one is worth 2, then we'll be able to get to 20 right at the end. So again, I'm not going to label every single one. I'll label every second one. So, to go along with the color coding I've already done, I'll do the graph that way. We had a 30 minute section at 20 kilometers an hour, meaning for the first 30 minutes, from 0 to 30, our speed was at 20 kilometers an hour. Speed decreased to 5 kilometers an hour for the next 10 minutes. So the speed, he, pl he put on the brakes, 5 kilometers an hour is right about there for the next 10 minutes. And last but not least, he stopped for 10 minutes. So stopping means the speed is 0. Speed went down to 0 for the next 10 minutes. The last thing I need to include on this graph is a title. Title should be descriptive, doesn't need to be anything fancy. Uh, if we call this Samuel's Bike Ride, that would be descriptive enough for us to know exactly what was going on.